I can maybe deal with Papoose and Remy not being together in the more in the cheating rumors, but Tim's being pregnant by future girl. If y'all, you just made that up. Y'all already know what time it is. I got the black beanie on. What's going on, y'all? Welcome to another King of Reese video, girl. It has been an interesting week. I miss y'all so much, girl, but I've been in recovery. I have just been in the healing chamber, girl, the last week, girl. Y'all y'all tried to fail me. Y'all tried to get me out of here, but I am here thanks to all the people who've reached out, who have supported me um, during all of this chaos and confusion and stuff. And I hope that my video has provided clarity for those who know me and know what I'm about. Um, and for those who don't, I don't know what to tell you, girl. I just I'm gonna keep on living my life and keep continuing doing content and focusing on um, informing, educating, and uplifting black folks, period. That's all I know how to do. And we're going to be talking about some stuff today. So we got a couple things to get into. Um, I've already done a video about this Kenneth Petty, Nicki Minaj mess that's going on right now. We got to talk about that. Papoose and Remy. Woo! Girl, I'm late, but we gotta talk about Sukiyana and this red carpet situation. Jonathan Majors, I might actually dress up like Jonathan Majors for Halloween. I'm not even holding y'all. Um, this Tim's being pregnant situation, Tory Lane's mugshot, um, and him being gone, gone. Like it's it's for real, for real, for real, for real. So many things to talk about. This is probably gonna be a two-part video. Um, and um, yeah, but before we get into any of this tea for today, let's go ahead and get into this mental health check-in. Mental health, girl, she was, girl, she was, I was down bad. <laughs> girl, down bad, but I am feeling a little better, 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 better. What's funny about, you know, all the drama that was going on, girl, I literally caught a bug. Um, I don't know where it came from or whatever, but I had, got, I don't know if it was a bug or something, but I had got sick. Um, Wednesday night, that's when the drama happened, and then I was not feeling well Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I had a fever of like 101. So when I say I was in the healing chamber, not just healing my mind mentally, but also physically as well. Um, but I was looking at some of y'all's comments and, and, and messages and stuff. Y'all brought me so much joy. I really do appreciate it. And honestly, girl, I am working on, uh, um, I said this in my Patreon video. I'm working on a video of my top like 10 most controversial moments ever online. And girl, this one was, she was up there. Like she was up there, to, like she was up there. Um, and it's just sad to see that the video was taken out of context. And for those who did watch it, they understood what the video was about. And when I used the word entitled, I was talking to my physician, my doctor and saying that, hey, if me and my partner have had conversations about my sexual health, their sexual health, then we can use, we can not use condoms. Um, and people were saying so many disgusting and derogatory things. Um, I have to once again remind folks that um, there is more than just condoms. Condoms is not the only safer sex practice. There is so many other things just having a conversation with your sexual partner is one of those things. Um, you also have prep. You also have even using lube. I've said that many times, but the, to me, the biggest one is really having a conversation with your sexual partner and just knowing like what you got going on. But that's something I always do and having conversations with folks um, like, hey, how often you get tested? Are you on prep? Are you undetectable? Are you HIV positive? How often you get tested? All of those things that like the spiel is just, it comes to me because I've like, I've done that. Uh, but. You know, the girls were trying to say that I was out here a super spreader. Uh, and, you know, I just, I'm waiting for the day that some of these girls who are so concerned about the eradication of HIV, I'm waiting for y'all to hold panel discussions and talk about sexual health. Because I can't do this alone. <laughs> like, I can't be the only one out here, out here having conversations and dedicating uh, my resources and stuff to having these conversations and stuff. But the girls were mad. Was well, disappointed to see. Honestly, I was disappointed to see a lot of people who uh, watch me, who claim to, a lot of my content, but he's too left, he's too radical, this is da 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 da. Let me tell you something. <laughs> um, I know that me doing content is just that. I know that I'm not y'all friends. I know that. Um, I know that people enjoy my content, people feel like this inspiring and all that other stuff. 
Um, so I don't like, I think it was just kind of a check to be like, I don't know these people a little bit. Um, and you know, I appreciate the work that I'm appreciative of people telling me how important I have been to them and how I've made them change and all those people I appreciate, but the people who are easily swayed, persuaded by, um, things like this, like, I, I don't know what to, I don't like I'm not here for you. I'm only here for myself and the people who want to enjoy my content. I'm not begging you to believe me. I'm not begging you to consume my content. If you do not like it, you do not have to watch me. You don't have to. I promise you it will be, I don't feel any type of way for people who say they no longer watch and they moved on and all the other stuff. I promise you I don't. There's enough people who support me each and every day that a couple of hundred people leaving doesn't make a big difference at all. Um, it doesn't. But it was just very, very telling to see so many people um, activate in serophobia um, and also um, homophobia because you, I talk about these things all the time. So I've shared my status and talked about it. I don't understand how someone is hiding and out here doing these things when I literally talk about my status publicly on a platform. Like there's people who recognize me every time I go somewhere and people know my story. If I'm truly living in the shadows, um, I would not be talking about my status publicly. I would not. Um, and there are a lot of queer people who know of me and know of my work as well. Um, so it's very hard for me to move in spaces for folks to not. Like people literally have seen that video and have never met me, but just recognize me. It's like, oh, you know, da da da. So it's just, girl. But I just wanted to put that out there because it makes me feel better. Like I am in a better mental space now, but I definitely took some time to heal and get my life together. Um, and I'm, you know, getting back. I honestly was, child, I was about to pack it up and go to Memphis to visit my mama. I just, honestly just wanted to lay next to my mama and just like all that stuff. Cause the mama boy did jump out a little bit. I just want to be in the care and presence of my mother. Um, and I know my mama got like, you know, so, I have to stay strong. Um, I stay strong for my mother. Um, and if it wasn't for her and the community of people who around me and like who love on me, Kavery, Justin, Deshaun, T, um, so many other people who have checked on me, um, JTs, who have shown me so much love. Even people I've just met, Ivan, um, who showed me so much during the last couple of days. I appreciate y'all, love y'all so much, girl. And um, you know, your boy's back. So let's get into the tea. For today. So let's go ahead and talk about this Tim's pregnancy rumor. I don't know where this pregnancy rumor is like, I don't know where it's coming from. Like it was just randomly posted. Um, somebody posted a video of Tim's. It looked like Tim's, you know, she, she, some, I guess they were trying to imply, I guess they were trying to imply that she was pregnant because her stomach was showing or whatever. It's like, girl, she could have had a burger. She might have gained a little weight. Who cares? But now they're saying that Tim's is pregnant. Then they were saying about future. We don't know where this originated from. We ain't seen nothing. But you know how the girls are easily fooled by a font and a picture. You do that font and that white, the bold white font, and the picture of the celeb look like they doing whatever. You got it. You, it's sold to the highest bidder. And the bidder ain't got much to offer. And the purchasee doesn't have that much to offer. Um, like, it's just... Girl, would it be the purchase or would it be the bidder? I don't know. I ain't never bid on anything. Uh, but yes, like that's what's going on. Uh, we ain't seen nobody to confirm this. Tim's sure enough ain't gonna say nothing to it. I mean, she is pregnant. Congratulations. Happy for her in that moment. Um, or whatever. Uh, if it's about future. You know, girl, join the, the club of, uh, you know, the women's who is out here. <laughs> Have a kid with these men we can't stand. <laughs> like, I just, like, join the club. I mean, girl, I guess, you know, it is what it is. But I don't know if I believe that. But we will be monitoring and seeing if it's true or not. But I don't know if I believe. But Tim's is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful woman. Um, so, yeah, like, she she got, she got access to some men's. She got access to some men's. Let's move on. Since we're talking about pregnancy, um, let's talk about, girl, y'all been dragging Hallie down, girl. Let the girl live. Um, now, some of the girls have been mad at some of us who have been responding to, like, things we've seen on Hallie. And I'm going to address that because some of the girls be a little bit pressed. Um, I think there are 
different folks who are having conversation about the alleged pregnancy rumor of Hallie. I think that you have folks who are looking at the pictures and stuff of Hallie and, you know, doing all this research. Oh, she pregnant, she pregnant and dragging it and, and making comments like, oh, I kicked you down the steps because they don't like DDG, her alleged baby daddy or whatever. Um, those books are, are terrible. Terrible. Like, it's not funny to make jokes about kicking her down those steps or in her pre that's that's terrible. Like, yeah, that's not funny. I know we want to think that all the stuff that we laugh is it's not funny. Then you also have the people who are like myself, who see a picture and it looks clearly photoshopped and just like, oh girl, that picture's photoshopped. I'm in that minority. Other folks just like, oh girl, this picture is photoshopped. Like this picture is photoshopped. And it's not that I'm out here concerned that she's pregnant or not. It's just what gets me is the, the the lies of it, the cover up. But I say that to why does she have to cover up um, the fact that she's being pregnant? And I think that's a societal issue um, because the image of her will be quote unquote corrupted. Uh, because she's she's not married uh, and all of that and you know it adds to that and to be able to sell that to be a black woman a young black girl uh, she her chances of getting booked for other things is perceived off that innocence um, she's already a black girl and you know it was amazing she played Ariel and you know that she dealt with a lot of racism and stuff during the filming of this thing. I don't blame her. I don't blame her. Even if it's someone that she does not like, she can procreate whoever she wants to, period. I think DDG is an idiot. Um, I think he's a troll online. Um, he, that recent video of him um, getting his house broken to death, I knew that stuff wasn't real, child. I'm just like, come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Ain't nobody that's breaking into my house. I'm getting up here. Oh, what y'all doing? It's if I got the guy, it's da -da -da -da, or whatever. It's like, girl, what y'all doing? Like, I can always tell when someone is reacting naturally or if it's reacting like the camera is there. Because I know how people, I know how I react when the camera is on. And I, like, girl, what is you talking about? Like, huh? Like, everything is not clear, but that whole situation. And I also don't believe that DDG is sleeping in all them clothes. I think DDG is sleeping in boxes and, and, or briefs, box of briefs, um, and that's it. So, girl. For me, I don't sleep with no clothes on. That's just how I am. I, if they come and get me, one, one thing about ADT who I need to pay. Cash out me and help me pay my ADT. King of Reeds, period. Um, ADT, you open that door, she gonna say, disarm system now. And baby, by the time you get up to the steps, I'm gonna, she gonna Like it's, I'm gonna hear it. I don't play, I turn that thing on. Matter of fact, you open the door, it's going off. It's going off. Um, and I am a sleeper that sleeps with the door Close. So if you crack the door open, I'm in, I'm waking up. Like when folks wake me up at my sleep, like oh, what, what's going on? Like I be ready. PTSD down. Period. So I didn't believe that, but I do think we need to leave Hallie alone. Let her live her life. Um, she is pregnant by this man, so be it. I think she is, uh, and I'm wishing her the best. Her and her child, and all of that. I think she looked beautiful in the pictures that we saw from the VMAs and all that other stuff. Love her down. Um, I think she's extremely talented and I love the same I, and I love the song Angel. Period. Um, and that's what I know for sure. Period. Now let's move on. Uh, let's talk about um, Tiffany Haddish. Um, I want to talk about Tiffany Haddish because I did a VMA review and it's on Patreon. I recently just posted honestly it's videos I did last week that did not make it because I was like, girl, I ain't feel like editing it. It was a lot going on. Obviously, um, but the VMAs, <sighs> y'all girl, Tiffany has just showed out. And people have said, oh, Tiffany Haddish, is, she does a lot. She does do a lot. She does. There's nothing authentic about Tiffany Haddish. The stuff with Shakira, all of that is for show. It's giving Chitlin Circuit, and I have no problem saying it. Yes, we want black folks to be themselves in spaces. We want black folks to be their authentic selves. We want them to stop, you know, having to perform for whiteness. But also, some of us are performing that very thing for the white gays. And that's what's confusing me. And I can tell when it's authentic. Um, Tiffany Haddish, there's nothing authentic about her. Like, 
there's moments where she recognizes that she's being called the thing and then she stops it. But then she's on the red carpet putting out fried chicken and stuff and all the other stuff. Now, it's nothing authentic about Tiffany Haddish. And also, she's very weird, the stuff that she did and, and, and that um, skit with them, with them kids and um, that guy. Like, it was just like she shouldn't be nowhere, to be honest. But she just goofy as hell. Like, she's extremely goofy. She's an idiot. Um, and uh, all of it has been performance for whiteness. It's all been a performance because black folks don't do stuff like that. Like, they don't, the stuff that Tiffany has to do, black folks don't do that around black folks like that. Like, because it's like, girl, we all got somebody like that. It's just very natural. But the way Tiffany Haddish does it, it's very played up. Like, it's, I mean, it, it was very played up. So we're talking about that. I also want to talk about the responses to Sukiyana on the red carpet and how she was, quote unquote, doing too much. Now, Sukiyana is a good time. She, she, Suki with the good coochie. She be doing her thing. They said she do too much, period. We love Sukiyana doing too much. I do think that Sukiyana sometimes do, you know, juice it up a little bit. Now, when she walked past that, that white woman and she was in the um, UK, she's like, get my coochie stretch, get it stretched. I live for that moment. I thought it was iconic. I thought it was funny. I thought it was funny. I thought on the red carpet, it was funny, it was fun. I don't care. Like, the red carpet, the VMAs, you got a whole white woman showing up with meat dresses on from Publix. Like, come on now. Like... They do up too much all the time, but we understand when folks say black folks do too much. We know exactly what that means. I don't feel like Sukiyana does the same thing that Tiffany Haddish does. I think that Tiffany Haddish is a different level of playing it up. I think Suki is just having a good time, and she just she had be here. She just herself. Like I just I think that uh, now I think when we talk about authenticity when it comes to stuff like this, Sex of Red knocks out the park. Each and every time. Sex and Red knocks out of, out the park. Like, I can listen to Sex and Red. Sex and Red can give me some of the most basic lyrics. And I'm going, yoom, it's sexy. Sex and Red can give me some of the most basic lyrics. She can do some of the, I'm going, yoom, it's sexy. Okay? <laughs> Make my good league up. I'm, I'm here for it. I ain't. Yeah, I'm here for a good time, not a long time. I'm here for a good time. And Sexy Red is giving me a good time. And it's authentic. She ain't, she is the hood. Like, Sexy Red is not playing this up. Sexy Red ain't playing this up for the cameras. You go back and look at some of, some of the stuff that Sexy Red has done throughout her high school. Like, she always been hood. She's always been that girl. You go look at some other girls, and you see them pictures of them playing a the clarinet. <laughs> not saying that they came, but it's like, Where's all this hoodness coming from? Like, y'all cosplaying hoodness. And I understand that, you know, the black female rappers have to play it up even more because they black female rappers and stuff. But some of the girls just like, girl, y'all don't even like the hood. Y'all don't even like being around hood people. Um, and Sexy Red is that. You, I, I love me some Sexy Red. It's sexy. I love that she be, I love that she be having her glasses on, girl. Like, as a person who wears glasses and need to be able to see, girl, I, I stand for it. Um, I stand for it. Ooh, love it. It's sexy. But with that being said, go ahead and click on part two of this King of Reese video because we got to talk about Jonathan Majors and that famous straw hat. <laughs>